This season, Toledo basketball has become appointment viewing, partly because of junior forward Seth Milner. His acrobatic dunks have drawn national attention, retweeted and replayed on platforms like ESPN's Top 10. Since transferring in prior to the beginning of last season, Milner has been a crucial part of the rocket success, but he nearly missed out on playing for Toledo altogether. Seth Milner has elevated his play this season. And it's more than just the ground clearance he gets when he's throwing down one of his highlight reel slams. He'd never put the time into the skill level uh, to be a really skilled you know, uh, forward. And now he can shoot, he can put the ball to the floor. He's kind of a jack of all trades. A Big Ten football recruit who held an offer from Michigan State out of high school. The Rockets and Milner missed each other the first time around. Toledo was actually one of the schools I was going to come to out of high school. But I was playing football and I, I missed my official visit and somebody snagged it up. Eventually, Milner landed at Cleveland State, playing a single season for the Vikings before transferring to Northwest Florida State College, a junior college an hour east of Pensacola. When the Rockets rang with another opportunity in 2020, Milner didn't hesitate. I called him up and, and just we talked, we revisited the recruiting process the first time around. And to be honest with you, he, he, he didn't quite know if he was going to play football or basketball. He didn't have a sense of urgency like he probably should have. And I wasn't patient enough. So I said, hey, listen, we both made a mistake. Let's get it right the second time. And it was funny. And it, to be honest, it was quick and short. He said, just don't mess up this time. <laughs> what was your response to that? I was like, all right, I bet I'm not. Milner has made good on his promise. Now in his second season with Toledo, he started in 47 straight games and is among the top three in scoring, rebounding, and minutes played. You can do a little bit of everything, a little bit of anything that you need. And uh, I think he's freakish athletically and he has great skill, pretty jumper. So there's, there's not a lot he can't do. But Milner's contributions are more than just the measurables on the court. Grit, you know, rebounding. When we came in, you know, we're obviously undersized, me and Seth, uh, playing the big spots. But, you know, just the way he, when I was watching, because last year, last year I started out uh, ineligible for the first couple games. So I was watching, I'm just like, man, he's pulling down every rebound is what it looked like to me. So I think that's a big thing. And then he just brought some intensity and some leadership and some maturity. Uh, I can't say enough good things about him. He's, he's a great guy to coach. He's great in the locker room. He's unselfish. He's all about winning. Uh, a big reason why we're good. Just being good isn't good enough. There's another reason why Milner wanted to be a Rocket. What it is is three out of five of us, you know, obviously played last year. Raheem was a red shirt, so he got to watch and see a little bit of it. And Ray J had just came from Boise State, who was also in the NIT tournament. And I think what pulls us together is the fact that we've never been to an NCAA. We, we all want to go there, and that's the goal. Seth Milner's career hasn't unfolded the way it was drawn up. When you're a freshman, you think the school you go to, that's where you're going to spend the next four years at. But, you know, things happen. and. But it's one that has finally come full circle. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be here every day. I'm grateful for the coaches, you know, giving me a chance. and. Hopefully we can hang some more banners.